Hi, my name is Alexis Taylor. I'm the Head of Art and Design at the University of Northampton. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about preparing a portfolio for entry onto our Creative Masters programme. Portfolio is a really, really important part of our application process to any of our Creative Masters programmes in Art and Design. Uh, what the portfolio um, allows us to see is it gives us a bit of an indication of your ability um, in terms of your creative ability and what you've done in the past. Um, obviously the Masters programmes that we have here are slightly different, so you would tailor your portfolio to those Masters programmes, so if you're coming to a design-based programme, you might want to show some examples of previous design work you've done or um, design work that you've brought in perhaps from an industry background. I think in terms of preparing your portfolio, obviously do give it some thought. Think about the sorts of things that you want to show us that will give us the best impression of the kinds of work that you've done before or the kinds of work that you would like to pursue further on a master's programme. Uh, try and organise it in such a way, if you can, that tells us a bit of a story about you. Stick to around no more than about 10 pieces of work. And work in progress is also really important if you have it, as is any sketchbook work or preliminary studies. The most important thing that I can say is that you're tailoring your portfolio to the programme that you're wanting to study. So if that is design communication and experiences, go on the website, have a look about what it says about the programme, see if you're best fit for that programme and tailor your work appropriately. So we might be looking at more um, graphic design based work, we might be looking at advertising work, we might be looking at some digital work. If it's the MA Fine Art, we would probably be looking at work uh, that you have produced as a practitioner, as an artist. That might be sculpture, that might be painting, it might be drawing, it might be mixed media and so on. You can uh, weave a narrative or a story from beginning, middle and end, that's fine. If that's um, a bit harder to do because you've got quite a varied portfolio, that's not a problem. The one thing I probably would say is a short caption on each of the pieces of work that you're going to include that just tells us a little bit about why it was created, when it was created, if it was done uh, as part of a personal project, if it was done as part of a course, if it was done as part of your job in industry. Because the people that will be looking at your portfolio, they'll be doing it before they speak to you. What the personal statement allows us to do is it allows us to kind of find out a little bit about you, a little bit about your background, whether that's educational or industrial or as a practitioner, and it allows us to find out why you want to do this programme of study, um, what you hope to get out of this programme of study. Is there anything on this programme of study that you want to explore that you haven't been able to explore before? And we also want to see in the personal statement that you've got a real passion for this subject, that you're, you're really wanting to kind of um, push, push yourself, push your skills. Point of application, there'll be an opportunity to upload your portfolio through the student portal when you apply. Um, what I would recommend you do is recommend putting together a PDF, so a multi-page PDF, as I said, try and keep it no more than about 10 pieces of work. They can be finished pieces, they can be experimental pieces or preliminary pieces. Um, and try and keep a PDF under 20 megabytes. In terms of a PDF, uh, you can export um, PDFs from a variety of programs from Word or PowerPoint. And obviously the Adobe Creative Suite will allow you to do that through InDesign or Illustrator or even Photoshop. If you have uh, an online portfolio or, or a link to a website that, that has your work rather than uploading a PDF, by all means include that in your application, but do make sure that the link works and that the access is open so that whoever is looking at your application can get through and see the work. Ultimately, don't worry too much about the portfolio. If it feels good to you and it's work that you're really proud of, please include it. At the end of the day, 
We're really happy to see people's creative work and we're really looking forward to seeing your applications.